Gabriel Bass, welcome to Live at 9. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for yeah. having me here. Yeah, driving all the way up from Natchez? Yes, sir. So talk about how you got into music. Well, it, it began as a child in church. My grandfather played piano, sang at the Pentecostal church. I loved those hymns, those old hymns on the piano. And I sang as a child, and I sang my entire life. And once I got about 20... Eight, I decided to learn how to play guitar myself, just tired of waiting on other people to come play guitar with me. How would you describe your music to people? Do you kind of have that church feel into some of your music, because that's what you grew up with? Yes, sir, I would say definitely soul uh, gospel is included in there. I, I started off saying I wrote country music, but now I say it's uh, country soul. <laughs> I heard him one, one person. I like the mix. Rock and soul or something. <laughs> yeah, so what, what's it like being an artist from Natchez? We've had a couple on here, and it seems like it's been a growing scene. It is. It's a great little scene. Lots of live music opportunities, lots of tourists constantly, lots of new faces to play to all the time. And, and what's maybe the toughest part of being a uh, musician that's trying to grow? Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, tough one. The finding the correct audiences to play to, how to get your original music out there and be heard, and learning to get past all of these... <laughs> trying to get your music out there, basically. Right, no, and when you make original music, I don't think people realize how hard that is. I mean, you're an artist just in the music sense. Uh, when did you start making original music, and were you playing covers before? Like, how, how did that, how'd you make that transition? I did. I played covers for a long time. I still play covers, but I, about probably eight years ago, we were, me and my friends were sitting around a fire, and there's this little bridge on my road called the Curly Jones Bridge. I said, there needs to be a song about it. We wrote it in about 10 minutes, and <laughs> people liked it a lot. So from there, it, it just grew. And where do you get to play now? I play uh, a lot around Natchez at Smoot's Grocery, at Churchill Variety, uh, Biscuits and Blues, different places. I'm playing in Meridian at a place called Brutique. Okay, so it's grown a little bit. Mm-hmm. And what's kind of been the joy of being able to travel now a little bit with your music? It, it almost makes little vacations for me and my family. They usually <laughs> come with me and, and music plays for us to, to do little fun things. And it's, it's nice getting to new crowds and new opportunities. And what does your family say about your music? They seem to love it. They, uh, as long as it doesn't interfere with uh, too much family life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's got to, I mean, look, do, do, do you do anything else? Do you work anywhere else? Or is it just fully music right now? I do. I'm actually an occupational therapist at our local hospital in Natchez. I think a lot of people don't realize that a lot of local musicians have to work other jobs, right? I mean, you, you, you sometimes have to work that other job to supply you trying to be a musician. I mean, it, it, is, is that tough? Yes, sir. Uh, it would be lovely to make it only <laughs> on music. That would, that would be the ultimate goal. But yes, sir, to, to, it, it is tough to balance life between family and work and music. But your family's been completely supportive. Yes, sir. That's awesome. All right, uh, before we take a quick break, uh, the song that we're going to hear. It's called Chemical Mistress. Uh, my friend sent me these two words and said there needed to be a song about it. So. I usually take one little fact and, and make a big fictional story about a little fact, and that's where it came from. It's kind of about anything that gets you through the hard times. 